Hey everybody, I just got this system over here from a friend of mine who uh, seems to have broken the screen here. As you can see, I've never seen this system before. It's um, back here, it says Eurocom. I've never seen, even seen this manufacturer before. I don't know how this happened. They don't know how this happened, but it did. And um, of course, that's not something you're going to want to deal with. It's actually quite a bit worse than it looks like probably on this film. But it's something that we're going to have to probably replace the whole panel for. This is going to be a two-part series. This is the first part. We're going to be removing this screen, determining what it is, and uh, ordering a new screen. The second part is going to be putting that new screen in. Here's a bit better of a shot of the screen, as you can see, all the way down here is all broken. Again, we don't know. I don't know how this happened, but um, this is not something you're going to want to have to deal with. For this job, I'm going to need my micro set. I'm also going to need some tweezers. They don't have to be this this kind. It doesn't really matter, I guess. So. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take apart the screen, but first, we want to make sure all the power is taken out of the system. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to remove the power. And we're going to take the battery out. Next we want to have it completely open and as you can probably, probably can't see it in the film, but there are four almost feet here. They're just, they, they're just rubble, rubber stamps with arrows. There's also two down here. These are going to be covering screws and we're going to use our tweezers to get rid of those. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But it has a, an adhesive side on the back. You don't want to handle that too much. I usually put them on the palm rest because it's a convenient spot to save them. Now this, this came apart rather easily. This is very, very normal for something that you're going to have to do. I'm estimating I'm going to need this one right here. This is a number one Phillips, because I'm looking up here and I'm seeing Phillips heads. And really, you can start anywhere. I'm starting at the top. Try not to throw them around. Try to keep them in a place that you're going to know where they are. Now there's only two things that are going to hold this screen together. First is of course these screws, which I should be getting the last of right now. The second is going to be a series of snaps. The snaps are going to be all around the edge. They're going to keep these sides on. And you want to use a little bit of force here and you can hear them popping out there. Don't be afraid of this. You might break one. Don't feel too bad about that. And these are just going to be the snaps in here. There are these little posts. Okay, you want to put that somewhere safe that so you're not going to forget about it. I'm just going to put it on the back of that monitor there. And this is a pretty standard panel. This is pretty much what you would expect to see inside of a system. I've seen this many, many times. Now this is bolted down. I don't necessarily want to pull that apart if I can get in here. You may need to use tweezers to get these out. These are very, very small screws. You may have to move to a size zero, which I think I'm actually going to do to get those out. There's four up and down each side. Be careful to get them all. And I'll show you this here. They're right in here, just behind there. And this is actually the frame that's going to connect between between the actual display panel 
and the top of the computer. These are all very, very, these are all the exact same screws. They're very, very similar. Some may be longer. You want to set those aside and make sure that you know where they go. But for the most part, they're all the same. I only have the six black ones we removed earlier. And now I'm going to have eight of these smaller silver screws. So it's kind of hard to met to mess up which one goes where. All right. Now this is also screwed in down here, so I'm going to make sure I get that. And I've seen this before, that sometimes they do put these these posts up here. I don't know if you can see that from that angle. They're attached to the display panel underneath. And they're, they're pieces that are connected directly to it. And uh, you want to be very mindful that there are no screws in any of those parts. We're going to be able to hold it down to the display, to the upper portion of the laptop, when you go ahead and remove it. Now this is the most important part right here. Pull this out. I don't know if you can see that specifically, but this is um, this is your power cable for the backlight. You want to make sure you remove that because otherwise you're taking this whole inverter board with you and you don't want to do that. You can, but you don't want to. Now don't pull it away too fast because you still have this connection on the back. This is your... Uh, graphics cable. I'm just going to pull the tape off. Don't need that anymore. And that comes out and just slides right out. And there's your broken display. Now on the back you're going to find um, this one is a model number B154EW01. Now if you want the same display in there you can go ahead and do a search for that. You might be able to find a manufacturer that produces this exact display. Now, like I said, I've never seen this computer before, and as you see, as you've seen, I was very easily able to remove all the parts of it and get this display out without taking the whole computer apart. And that's something that any good technician should be able to do. As you can see, this is a pretty standard procedure to replace one of these. And of course, right down here is going to be the the model number. And you just want to do a search for that. You want to search for the model number of the display. It's going to be more useful than the manufacturer of the display. Um, I don't even know what the manufacturer on this is. But uh, to be honest, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and find another one of these, probably on eBay. Order it in for her, and I'm going to put it in as soon as it comes in. I'll do another video for that later on.